tracking the economy this morning. The latest jobs report reveals that hiring nationwide picked up the pace in August, showing 142,000 new jobs and an unemployment rate dipping for the first time since March. Jackson Pigeon explains how this looks for us here in Tennessee. Well, Allie, Tennessee's July 2024 data from the Labor Department shows the state continues to experience record low unemployment at 3%, the same it's been since May. The report shows that 85 of the 95 Tennessee counties experienced lower or steady unemployment in July. Sevier and Williamson counties recorded July's lowest jobless rates across the state at 2.5%. Cheatham and Wilson counties followed at 2.7%. And Davidson, Smith, and Moore counties rounded out the top 10 for the lowest rate at 2.9%. As for the highest jobless rates in the state, Weekly County jumped from 4.5% to 6.2% between June and July. Houston and Bledsoe counties had the state's next highest at 5.5%. Nationwide, numbers for the month of August show the unemployment rate dropped to 4.2% from 4.3% in July, which had been the highest level in nearly three years. This data out just two months before the presidential election. Unemployment is low. Um, gas prices have actually dropped. Inflation is lower. There needs to be a kind of careful balancing between touting accomplishments and recognizing the pocketbook challenges that many voters still feel. It's not just the state of the economy, it's voters' perceptions that matter. The Federal Reserve is set to cut its key interest rate when it meets next September 17th and 18th. Tennessee will release the August statewide unemployment data on September 19th. Blake.